Hey, what's up, everybody? Let's watch the Nintendo Direct that happened uh, today, February 9th, 2022. Uh, this is such a red screen. I am so blown out with red, and it's mainly because of this screen. I get a little bit of hint of red with the microphone. Um, I will be honest. I don't know. I'm trying to kind of cover what's going on down here at the bottom because I don't want to get spoiled on anything. I've actually managed to uh, be pretty clean on this one. I I've made sure to stay off of, like, Twitter and stuff. Um, didn't watch any any videos uh, leading into this, so I don't know what really to expect. They're talking about games that are going to come here in the first half of the year. Um, I think we might get some more Advance Wars, which would be kind of nice. I've, I, for some reason, I always wanted to play that game, but I never got to. It's an old Game Boy, like, Advance game. Um, yeah, I don't know. So give me some cool stuff to look forward to, Nintendo. I'd love to see a Splatoon 3 update, because I'm really excited about that game. Um, but other than that, like, Eh, I don't know. I don't know. Nintendo always feels like kind of a mystery. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's just, let's, uh, let's jump in here. It should go for like another like 20 or 30 seconds. Hopefully the audio will be okay. I would, like, I would love, I know a lot of people probably want Breath of the Wild. I want another Mario, a 3D Mario game. So bad. Odyssey is an incredible, incredible game. I love Mario Odyssey so much. And I would love to see another Mario game. Uh, another Mario 3D game like that. I know. I probably, honestly, Mario Odyssey is one of the games that I, I think most consistently about, like, restarting. Oh, shit. I think it's broken. Okay, never mind. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I think about that one pretty frequently. I'm like, I have a Switch. I, don't, I think I bought it as a digital download, so I'd have to re-download it, but re-download it. All right, here we go. Let's see what you have in store for us, Nintendo. COVID-19. Yeah, they got to... Yeah. 2022 is going to be pretty loaded. I do think that 2023 is going to end up pretty loaded as well. We've already seen several delays this year. And I don't think the big stuff that they think is coming out is coming out. Like God of War Ragnarok. I don't think that has a shot at hitting in the fall. But we'll see. Also, Atomic Hearts, I guess, got a release window. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so at all. All right, got some uh, some stuff happening here. Fire Emblem Warriors: Three Hopes. I don't know what that means. The cycle of this world. I will not allow it to perish with you. <laughs> oh, cool anime. I seek to destroy the irrational power. Oh, of it's a Musou. Interesting. If the kingdom is ever to part ways with our bloody past, this is the path we must walk. We must walk another bloody path where we kill a lot of people. Real ones. This is not a game for me. This is not a franchise for me, and this is not a game for me. Oh, okay. Will you sit around Maybe? and wait for a miracle? Or will you help me seize control of my fate? I appreciate that you're riding a dragon. Can I put a top hat on that dragon? That's all I care about. We shall survive, and we shall win a glorious We shall survive. But now that I know, I won't make the same mistake again. Revenge is not a sin you take for someone else. You seek revenge to sue. Uh, you know what? I I don't know how well it's coming across the audio. Uh this music is fucking cool. There's like a heavy double bass on the drums going. June 24th, 2022. All right. Cool. Cool. Probably should be writing this stuff down. Hello everyone. Hey. I'm Shinya Takahashi and I'm Hello. your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Guide me. Guide me to the game, sir. Please. For the Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Hopes game. All right. We hope you'll look forward to a different story set in the same universe as Fire Emblem Three Houses. I love the way Nintendo talks about their game. We hope you'll look forward to. God, they got that Switch sound on lock. Orange Star Nation needs you. All right. We've got hey, here we go. On the Advance I think. Wars 1 plus 2 reboot camp game. Oh, there you go. In the first campaign, Advance Wars, you'll advise a colorful cast of commanding officers oh, I like that. and use Bye. their abilities in vibrant turn-based battles. Bye. Each commanding officer is now voiced. 
bringing even more charm to these characters. You're gonna get hurt. I see right through your plans. Another do full you do? campaign awaits in Advance Wars 2 Black Hole Rising. More commanding officers and more diverse terrain can be leveraged for additional tactical opportunities. Like blasting through pipelines to cross into enemy territory. In both campaigns, you can fast forward gameplay and reset your turns for a smoother tactical experience. Oh. Flex your strategic muscles outside of both camps. That is really modes. cool. Go for high scores in the war room. Create and share custom maps in the design room. Or battle oh. friends and that's interesting. In local and online multiplayer. Advance Wars One Plus Two Reboot April Eighth marches on right. the Nintendo Switch system April Eighth. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Cool. That's a game I would love to give a shot. That that feels like a good game. What the fuck universe. is this? In No Man's Sky, every oh, star is the light oh, I thought it was so cool. God damn it. Each orbited by planets <laughs> teeming with life. I was like, oh, look at this sci-fi exploration game. Hell yeah. And then they were like, No Man's Sky. Universe. Fuck. Here, you'll discover extraordinary lands and creatures that have never been seen before. And may never be seen again. What the fuck? To survive, you must craft your own tools and even your own place to live. In this living and breathing universe, trade convoys travel between stars. Factions vie for territory. Pirates hunt unwary travelers. And the authorities are ever watchful. Advanced Wars Reboot, by the way, that seems like a perfect game to, like, check out for, like, a three-hour chunk of time and see if I vibe with it. I do like the idea that you can reset your turn if you, like, goof up, because I can be, like... I, I'm not great about planning steps, like, in advance, so it would be nice to be like, oh, shoot, I see it, and then that way, like... What the fuck? What the fuck? What? No way, a Mario Strikers game? Hell yes. All right. Oh God. DK set that ball on fire. It's like Yoshi's cheering in the background. Awesome. I love the stylization of this. Mario Strikers Battle League. Pre All right. For strike, a five-on-five -five sport like soccer that's way. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna pause real quick, real quick, real pause. Pause it real quick. Just to finish my thought on on uh, Advance Wars. I'm not great at being tactical, especially moves ahead. So it, to be like to see it and then like, oh shoot, I should have done this. Be able to reset the turn. I'm all for games like being difficult, whatever. Sometimes it's nice to just have added in features that you can use, but you don't have to use and just go like, I'd like to restart this, reset this, and we'll, we'll go from there. Uh, very excited about this. What the hell? Mario the sports games? Offense. Bring them back. We got a pink Yoshi. We got a blue Yoshi. As well as by we got, using tackles. oh my God. I don't think that qualifies as a cat tackle. That was a double kick to that man's head. Special shots. Yoshi just fucking shit an egg the on them. The rule in this sport is to rule the field. Try to score more goals than your opponents. There are two things to keep in mind that'll help you with your strategies. First, the gear you equip. It changes oh, really? not only your appearance, but also your stats like speed, Interesting. strength, and pass accuracy. Customize okay, that is awesome. Fit. Second, the hyper strike. To activate this shot, grab an orb when it appears on the field. Oh, good and bullshit balls. While your opponents are distracted. Oh. Hit the net and you'll score not one, but two goals. Up to eight players, four players on each team. Oh, that is compete against each other on one Nintendo Switch. Wow, system. that is cool. In addition to individual matches, online play will have an online club mode. Join an in-game club and compete for placement in the rankings. Up to 20 players can join a club. So oh, create neat. your own and invite friends and family to play alongside you. 
or join an existing one owned by other players. Try cool. to become the world's top club. Okay. With items, tackles, and hyper strikes. Anything goes on this field. Mario Strikers. June 10th. Battle launches on Nintendo Sweet. Switch. June 10th. All June right. I'll definitely today. check that out. Nintendo so we have, we have two games. April 8th. The latest iteration of the Mario Which is a Friday. Series is coming to Nintendo Switch. And the what series? You're excited for this anything goes battle soccer game. Oh. Next. And what was it June? This. June 10th? That's a Friday as well. Okay. Footage not final. So two games, two games, Advance Wars and Yeah, Splatoon. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Does that mean this game is coming out in the summer? Oh fuck, please, yes. It's definitely three. Because the, the thing is different. Oh, you got the booyah button? Hell yeah. Shit. Fish stick? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Uh oh. Flipper flopper? Oh. Egg throw. Somebody's excited about that? Not me, but somebody. What's going on with this music? What's going on with it? I don't know if I like it. It's kind of like figure out what you want to do and like stop hitting everything at once. I like that you can throw it into the goal. I don't know if I've ever played that mode. I played a bunch of Splatoon 2. I never played any Splatoon 1, but I'm all over Splatoon 3. Salmon run. Next wave. That was the trailer for the co-op mode in the Splatoon 3 game. Okay. The next wave of Salmon Run. Oh, no. Oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. One that's never been seen before was also spotted at the end of the trailer. Will the Inklings and Octo I don't know if that qualifies as spotted. Splatoon 3 will launch this summer. Summer? Let's go! Fuck yeah! Hell yeah, Splatoon 3 in the summer. To more Nintendo Switch headlines. Fonzers at the ready. I don't know what that means. Some nerd was like, yeah, Wanzers, I know what that means. Summer 2022 for Splatoon? Day one. Oh, a mech game. Move really slow and shoot every a once in a while. Of the first front mission game is storming onto Nintendo Switch. In this oh, good, RPG, it's even... Oh, God. Machines called Vanzers and lead your battalion to victory. It's even more boring than I thought it was originally. Gain the upper hand in battle by aiming for enemy parts to destroy. This is the second like RTS that we've seen. Parts to customize your Vanzer. Or turn base whatever. Uncover Who needs this when you have advanced wars? This classic when Front Mission 1 remake launches on Nintendo Switch this summer. All right. And in the future, the sequel, Front Mission 2 Remake, will also launch on Nintendo Coming Switch. Coming in the future. All right. Get set for a high-octane Disney and Pixar combat racer. 
Oh uh, fuck yes! From the creator Day one. of the Asphalt series comes rip roaring racing action across Hell Disney yes. and Pixar inspired racetracks. Oh fuck Race yes! Has a legendary roster of characters on high speed circuits using each one's special abilities. Who do we to have in here? Across the Mulan. Choose Mickey Mouse. Mickey. We saw Jack speed. Sparrow. Sully. For Sully. Power. Or Buzz Lightyear was in there. Maneuvers. Each racer also possesses powerful ultimate skills. Perfect for turning the tables at the last second. Disney Speedstorm is a free-to-play game with new seasons Ooh. added regularly, bringing more exciting Disney and Pixar characters. Okay. Circuits, carts, Ooh. and more. Ooh. Plus, enjoy cross-platform play as well as split-screen and online. Wait, hold on. This is on. Modes. Disney Speedstorm races onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Hell yes. Oh, I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna play that. Cross-platform play means like I can play on Xbox and get achievements. Unleash the power Big play. Or uh, classic what? Star Wars action adventure. Big play. As Darth Vader's secret apprentice, you'll use devastating force powers and lightsaber combos as you hunt down Jedi masters on iconic planets. Upgrade people used to. Like I feel like this was a game people liked a lot. Then combine them for even more destruction. I never played combos. it. I'm not a big Star Wars guy. Use button controls or opt for motion controls enhanced from the original. Be aware of surroundings. Wear you wrist straps. Also locally with a friend to determine who is the galaxy's most powerful Jedi. That's Star cool. Wars: The Force Unleashed launches on Nintendo Switch April 20th. Pre-orders begin oh, today 420. on Nintendo eShop. Blaze those lightsabers. Saga of legendary assassin Ezio Auditore da Firenze awaits in three critically acclaimed Assassin's Creed games. Well, wow. explore Renaissance oh, Italy and not, 16th it's... century Constantinople, interact with historical figures, and discover secrets of the Creed across three games, two bonus short films, and DLC. Two bonus Plus, short take films. Take advantage of enhanced features for the Nintendo Switch system on the go, including touchscreen controls, HD rumble. An optimized on screen display. Assassin's Creed The Ezio Collection launches on Nintendo Switch February 17th. Does that game look better or worse than it did on Xbox 360? RPG battles. Strange incidents called breaks are occurring across the Gundam universe. Find out what's causing them and restore the proper timeline. You'll lead three mobile suits in battle. Enhance each suit with parts to improve their power. You can also battle alongside friends in online co op multiplayer. SD Gundam Battle Alliance launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Two worlds cross in the triumphant return of this RPG classic. What is that screenshot? A remaster of the acclaimed RPG Chrono Cross is coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Wait. Oh, Chrono Cross, one not... Fateful day, the protagonist Sorry. Sir Chrono Trigger was the one I was thinking of. World. Though it somewhat resembles his rip. Home, oh no, age seven. That he no longer exists here. That looks How fucking cool. Happen? What is this mysterious another world? Travel back and forth between both worlds to unravel the story. Over forty characters can join your. Oh, look party. at the dog thing. The, the candle man. Make, the allies who accompany you and the endings that trigger will differ. A number of improvements have been made to this remaster, like the ability to turn off enemy encounters and a newly enhanced soundtrack. Plus, Radical Dreamers, originally released on the Satellaview, is included. Experience the origins of Chrono Cross. The fuck is a Satellaview? Oh, good. Cross, text the Radical Dreamers edition. Dashes April 7th. It's way onto Nintendo Switch April 7th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Okay. All right, a little Kirby. Hit me with a little Kirby. No, not the scary fluffy animals. Wait, does Kirby have two different color eyes? No, he, he does not. Never mind. I can't believe. Oh my god, Kirby just ate a car? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Carby. It's Kirby's latest unforgettable 3D platforming adventure, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Hell yeah, look at how cute this looks. Place in a mysterious world with an unusual mix of nature and civilization. 
To rescue the kidnapped Waddle Dees, <laughs> Kirby sets off on a new adventure. Introducing Mouthful Mode. Inhale a car to zoom around. A vending Wait, machine. Wait, you can be a vending machine? Pants. Oh my god. <laughs> or become a piercing cone. Cone mouth. <laughs> With mouthful mode, new actions will be available for Kirby depending on the object he inhales. Enjoy exploring with new moves different from copy abilities. Kirby can even weaponize a mouthful of water like this. As Kirby rescues Waddle Dee's, Waddle Dee Town will continue to grow and more resources will become available. Okay, you can come up with a better name than that. At Waddle Dee's Weapon Shop, familiar copy abilities can be evolved. Evolve copy abilities to expand oh, the okay. range of attacks. Oh shit! They'll also change Kirby's appearance and make him even more powerful. Some copy abilities may have stronger evolved forms. A new adventure awaits our pink puffball. Who are the beast pack? What are these enemies trying to do? Can Kirby restore peace to this world? Kirby and the Forgotten Land launches on the Nintendo Switch system. Wait, hold on. Kirby looks awesome? Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo. Kirby looks e genuinely good? That was Kirby and the Forgotten That looks Land. that looks like a super fun and silly like Please look forward to Maybe not the most like hardcore platformer Let's in the world. But like Nintendo Switch headlines. Damn, Nintendo has three games coming out within like a what, one or two week window. Hey, Shohei. That's awesome. That's right, Otani son. MLB the show is coming to Nintendo. This Switch. looks so that bad. You play modes like Road to the Show and Diamond Dynasty on your Nintendo Switch. But that's not all. You can even play exhibition with oh, the why are you gonna show him beating the Seattle Mariners? Come on. Uh, yeah, Tom Murphy. Did you call the same pitch four times in a row and he figured out what you were trying to throw? Hey, yeah. Oh, he struck out. On the go with you why are they getting beat up by the Mariners? Nintendo owned the Mariners for a while. Or maybe still does. Look at how ugly that looks. Look at how bad this looks. There is cross-platform play and like progression. I knew you were a true two-way player, but this is ridiculous. Sheesh. You're gonna have your hands full of games with these collections. Ah, uh, don't worry. Kingdom You'll Hearts be... collections are almost here. From Kingdom Hearts, there'll be lots of MLB Kingdom the show coming up on the channel. The Remind DLC. Every entry is coming to Nintendo Switch as cloud versions that can be Gross. played while connected to the internet. Gross. Relive or get to know these heart-filled adventures alongside Sora, Donald, Goofy, and more for the first time in TV, oh. tabletop, or handheld mode. Kingdom Hearts Integrum Masterpiece for Cloud, containing all three game collections, soars onto Nintendo Switch tomorrow. Oh, Each okay. collection's cloud version will also be individually available on Nintendo eShop. Klonoa is coming to Nintendo Switch. What? Across dreamy side-scrolling levels, you'll run, eh. jump, and hover while firing wind bullets to grab and throw enemies. Wind bullets? Use each level surroundings to your advantage. Also, Klonoa 2 is included. Oh. Take on these great adventures when Klonoa Fantasy Reverie Series launches on Nintendo Switch July 8th. We're so glad you're here. Come here often. Either way, you're in for a puzzling treat. 
In these award-winning games, the portal gun is your key to surviving imprisonment in a mysterious lab. Create portals and warp to other areas to find cake? <laughs> Still Wait, what? You can pass through portals. But the cake is a lie! <laughs> and robots with unnerving levels of personality. The sequel adds in local, online, and split-screen multiplayer modes. And that part's no lie. Neither is the sentient robot monitoring your every move when Portal Companion Collection warps onto Nintendo Switch this year. Is it going to be cloud or is it going to be on the cartridge? Comes alive. I do like this little section of, hey, here's a bunch of remakes, remasters, bundles together. Bundled together. What is this? Legend is alive? A? What? What the fuck is this? Previously unreleased outside of Japan, the RPG Live Alive makes its overseas debut, now in HD 2D. Multiple God, HD 2D is fucking awesome. And time periods await. The order in which you tackle them is up to you. Prehistory, a tribesman comes of age in a world without words. The Wild West, a wanderer with a bounty on his head fights for his life. Imperial China, a kung fu master searches for a worthy successor. Twilight of Edo, Japan, a shinobi undertakes an important secret mission. Present day, a martial artist strives to become the strongest there ever was. The near future, a youth with psychic powers takes a stand against evil. The distant future, a newly built robot is swept up in a tragedy in space. What other stories are on the horizon? You will repay my loyalty in death! No. Live Alive launches on Nintendo Switch July 22nd. That is actually pretty cool. Begin today. I, it's not a game for me or anything, but I do like that they're remastering a game that was exclusive to Japan. Are we going to get any that? Nintendo Online Next updates? Up it's a new iteration. Whoa, of Nintendo Switch, Switch Sports? Nintendo Switch Sports. Cool. Please take a look. That... That uh, that tennis racket sound was like included in the Nintendo really familiar. Switch sports game. You might recognize these three from past Wii sports games. Tennis, rally by gently swinging the Joy-Con controller at the right time. Bowling. Oh fuck yeah! Head, give me some fucking curve. bowling. Hell yes. And chambara. Knock your opponent off the platform while attacking and defending. <laughs> Plus, give them a concussion and hope they don't drown. The lineup. Soccer. Use a gigantic ball to make dynamic plays. Enjoy matches with Joy-Con controllers to shoot and perform diving headers. Okay. All right. By attacking I like the I like the swag there. The leg strap accessory included with the physical version of the game. You can play shootout mode with intuitive kicking motions. All right. Badminton. Control your shots left and right while keeping the shuttlecock in the air. Unleash powerful smash shots to gain the upper hand. There you go. Finally, volleyball. Use a Joy-Con controller to serve, bump, set and spike the ball the game supports local play with family and friends on one nintendo switch system as well as online okay. play across all sports cool play against friends online or opt Holy for random shit. matchmaking the more you win the tougher the players you'll face Try taking on this challenge. Oh wow! How was that? Since I'm already pretty here, cool, I'd like to show you some gameplay of one of the newly added sports, volleyball. Mr. Takahashi. Oh, hello there, everyone. I'm your. Okay, where can I Koizumi. buy that? Where can I buy that jersey? Wow, Mr. Koizumi, I can see you're ready to play. All right, I'll play some volleyball online together with Mr. Koizumi. Do you have your wrist strap ready? Yes, of course. 
I've got plenty of, of course. space around me as well. All right, let's start. We'll be including some live commentary throughout our match. He's a, he has to play a suit. All right. Oh, Let him change it? his shirt. Uh, volleyball, a newly added sport in Nintendo Switch Sports. What can we expect today from the Takahashi Koizumi team? Are they on a team together? It's Hell yeah. Koizumi to serve with Takahashi up front. Oh, missed a little bit there. Koizumi serving. That's okay. So does it move automatically? Oh, nice. Another one's coming. Koizumi saves it. A set up in the air, and here comes the spike. The other team saves it and fights back. And they score. Wait, what? She didn't quite get it in time. Was right. it? That was like. It's okay, it's okay. The game's not over. Now the other team serves. Koizumi receives. I love the focus here. She sets it up, and Koizumi spikes, but it goes right toward the opponent. Here's another attack. Now's their chance. They get the ball. All right. And with a setup from Koizumi, All right. All right. Takahashi scores. They got a point with that. He gave it. He got shorts too. Oh, you can't really see because my face Let's is in the Let's stop our match here. After all, we were in the middle of a presentation. All right, <laughs> I'll be leaving now. <laughs> that was an all right. to Nintendo Switch Sports. The game launches April 29th. We're planning a free update in the summer that allows you to play soccer matches with a Joy-Con controller and the leg strap accessory. You can use the accessory to play shootout mode at launch. Oh, uh, okay. Addition, Motions may be final. A free update this fall Ooh, a golf course. Golf. Yes. And now, a request to everyone. To help ensure that you can all enjoy playing online, we'll be having an online playtest before the game launches to evaluate various technical aspects. Sweet. We definitely like to ask for your help with this. February 18th through the 20th. Only available for players with an active Nintendo Switch online membership on the dates shown on screen. For those of you interested, please visit the official Nintendo website for more details. Hell yeah. Well, I'll be doing that. Thank you. That's all I have for now about Nintendo Switch Sports. I hope you're looking forward to this game. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. There we go. Got it. Nailed it. Second try. Get those oh, this game just came out on ready. Game Pass. Shout out to the... Oh. The if this has a... Uh, motion controls, that could be pretty cool. City, I bought a game that where, like, you play drums. And you, like, master, along with brand use new LR, like... L R Z L Z R in different ways. Beats, including Megalovania, Gurenge, Feel Special, and Racing into the Night. And Racing into all. the Night. An orchestral version of the main theme from The Legend of Zelda is included. That's 76 songs total. Plus, take advantage of a practice mode to replay sections of songs as many times as you'd like. New modes have also been added for everyone to enjoy. Put on a live concert with up to four players in Donchen Band. Or face off against each other in Great Drum Toy War. No, 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 look out for the ducks. Drum to your heart's content. Will you be a frog? When Taiko no Tatsujin Rhythm Festival launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Plus, a paid in-game subscription service that gives you access to over 500 songs will be available at launch. Hmm. Maybe that's not the one that's on What's new with Game these Pass? Nintendo Switch games? The brand new tactical RPG game Triangle Strategy is almost here. Yeah, the it is. protagonist Sarah Noah and his allies will be engulfed in the conflict among three nations. Your choices and conviction will determine their fate. As Lord of House Wolfort, I solemnly swear an oath by which all future lords shall be bound. I will never turn my back on the promise of a better world. A new demo playable to the end of Chapter 3 will be available on Nintendo eShop later today. Ooh, transfer save data too. To the full game once purchased. 
That's a good thing to do. More Cuphead action awaits in the paid DLC, Cuphead, the delicious last course. Here, you'll explore a brand new Inkwell Isle, defeat a bevy of new bosses with wild personalities and even wilder attacks. The clever Miss Chalice is a new playable character. Oh, Take down okay. fearsome foes with her double jumps, rolling dodges, and more. Cuphead, the delicious last course, wallops its way onto Nintendo Switch June 30th. A free update is coming to the Metroid Dread game. All it takes is one hit. Even from this. Getting hit even once causes a game over in the brutal Dread Mode difficulty. Oh, Can you face shit. this new challenge? And for players new to the Metroid series, take advantage of increased recovery with the newly added Rookie Mode difficulty. This free update launches later today. Oh, there's a demo for that game. A can we? Free update can you just April put fucking Metroid Prime on the goddamn in Switch, please? Bosses continuously, please. One at a time. Put fucking Metroid Prime on Switch. For the love of God. Something's bound for Nintendo Switch. Chrono Trigger. Oh shit, Earthbound! Whoa! People fucking love this game! Never, uh, never played it. Mother 3? Oh. This looks, this looks uglier. It's not probably a sequel or whatever. Interesting. Earthbound Beginnings will be added to Nintendo Switch Online later today. Cool. People really love Earthbound. It's one of the more expensive SNES games, if I remember correctly. So it's nice to have it digitally. Zombie Army 4? That is a cool art style. What did it? Hold on, what did it? Ah, my controller turned off. What was that one? Oop, shoot. I went too far back, sorry. Oh, later today. Getsu Fuma Den. I, I just really dig the art style of that game. That one's out now. I wonder if my, is my switch right now is it charged or is it dead? Probably dead. Lego games. What the hell? Two Point Campus. I want to say that one's coming to Game Pass. I like that they had the rubber ducky in their thing. What did you think? Here's some news for Mario Kart fans. Many of you have been enjoying the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game since its launch in 2017. So, we've been working on remastering select courses from across the Mario Kart series and we'll be releasing them as paid downloadable content. What? Please take a look at this trailer. Oh, that's awesome. New courses for a game that's like 95 years old. This is genuinely great. I don't mean for that to sound... Just make the Mario Kart 9, for God's sake, please. Yoshi!
I mean, that's definitely helpful for a game that sold 5 million copies in a year and it's been available since 2015 or whatever. This is the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. You may recognize some courses from. Oh, they're going all the way back Mario to Kart Super Mario Kart? Games. Awesome. Oh, and Mario Kart courses Tour. Will be released at a time over six waves. Holy shit! Additional courses we plan on releasing by the end of 2023. <laughs> wow. Courses such as Coconut Mall. Good luck ever getting a Mario Kart 9. We're never getting a Mario Kart 9. Chaco Mountain. Okay. Chaco Mountain. That's great. Blur will be included in the first wave. Of course, you can play these courses locally and online. <laughs> the first wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe March 18th? Course Pass will launch March 18th. Sweet. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. That you is... can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost with the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack member. Hell yes! Or purchase the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass on its own. Hell yes, that is a great addition. I like that the expansion pass is getting more content with it that isn't just the 64 and Genesis Deluxe. games. This next segment will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Fighting in order to live and living to fight. That's the way of our world. Ionios. Tell me, what would possess you to side with them? We're fighting because there are enemies to kill. I refuse to believe you're him. I knew it. I saw this coming. You are. You're not enemies now. Fine for you, isn't it? All that time you've got. You could try. Try to move forward again. How can our lives be so snapping little do you? They're not your friends anymore. They're his few. Sword March. The land pierced by a great sword. It's the only way you're gonna defeat the real enemy. Whatever life is lost, I won't let you soldier it all alone. What good filling up these flickering clocks in our eyes? It'll never replace the friends we've lost. The flame clock, it has to go! What the fuck is this? What is happening? They must be erased without a trace. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Okay All right Ah, September That means nothing to me <laughs> The story of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 ties together the futures of the worlds depicted in Xenoblade Oof. Chronicles and Xenoblade Shoulder Chronicles pops super 2, bad. and it will launch this September I hope you'll look forward to it that's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Pulling up a list of... Oh, God damn it. Why is this not in order? Hold on. We'll rewind here toward the beginning. So, right off the top, obviously the Mario Strikers, pretty cool. I, I was digging Advance Wars, but I always wanted to play that when I was younger. I uh, never had a Game Boy Advance, though, so I'd like to try that one out. Um, hang on, I'll, I'll mute, the, mute the audio. So let's see, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, not for me. The Mario Kart Tour, or Deluxe, getting 48 new tracks for the next two years is awesome. I, I know that we're not getting Mario Kart 9 anytime soon at all. 
that kind of sucks, but having this number of tracks to a game that, you know, was still selling like hotcakes, like I said, sold, sold like 5 million copies in the last year. Um, cause they released the Nintendo numbers the other day, having it be part of the expansion pass is really awesome. I like that they're adding in addition to the 64 and the Sega Genesis games and the happy home DLC for animal crossing that they're adding actual, like good, tangible, wantable benefits to that expansion pass. That isn't just, Hey, here's more games for this. Here's more games for that. Here's a big chunk piece of DLC that saves you $25 So that's cool. I like it. Fire Emblem Warriors was not for me at all. Uh, it's uh, the game that's actually on screen right now. Mario Strikers, June 10th. That was really neat. I liked the uh, the armor aspects of it. Where, or not the, the uniform, whatever it was. Where it's like you can increase your power, but it'll take away from speed. I think that could be interesting. I'm not a super big fan of like the, the super shots. I'd be curious to see how frequently those little orbs come out onto the field. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I liked what I saw. I liked the very heavily stylized aspects of that game as well. Chrono Cross Remaster, April 7th. People like Chrono Trigger, but I don't know if people like Chrono Cross. I've been kind of wanting to play a JRPG lately, but I don't know if I'll be wanting to do that in, in April. I don't know. The new Wii, or the, the... Nintendo Switch Sports, cool. I like that they're doing a an online playtest April 18th through the 20th for Nintendo Switch Online members, so I'll try and give that a shot. And there will be, hopefully, fingers crossed, a video up uh, February uh, something, maybe. I don't know. We'll give it a whirl. We'll see what happens. Maybe it'll be just like a short bonus video that goes up like ASAP, like on a Saturday where it's just like a taste test. Um, something. I don't know. Uh, let's see. That looked cool. I mean, it might just come down to like, I really enjoy the bowling game mini game, but I don't necessarily like all the other ones, but could be interesting. I, I don't know. I liked what I, I liked what I saw from it. I thought that, the sketch thing that they did was actually kind of cute and funny. It was a good, uh, it was a good presentation. Triangle strategy, getting a free demo that will carry over to the full game. I was wanted to play Octopath Traveler, but I never did. Triangle strategy is a demo that I've had on my console for like, since it was announced and I just never played it. Like I said, I've been kind of feeling like a, like a JRPG lately. Maybe this is something I know this is more of like a tactical sort of spin on it. Um, there is, a new demo. You can try out chapters one through three and you can transfer your save data over. That's really awesome. That's, that's really awesome. I don't know if that's a different amount of content that's in the previous demo. Uh, remakes of front mission and front mission two. No new salmon run mode revealed. Salmon runs, not a mode that I have a ton of experience in with the Splatoon franchise. However, we did get a summer 2022 date for Splatoon 3. So that makes me very excited. That's the piece of information that I am taking away from it. Uh, salmon mode, take it or leave it. Not for me. New updates in Metroid Dread. Dread mode and rookie difficulties, fine. The Kirby Forgotten Lands, really liked what they showed. I liked that it, it was bright, colorful, goofy, silly, cute. Um, I thought it was... I thought it was great. I, I liked that you could be a vending machine. I will pay $60 to be able to turn into a vending machine. March 25th, we've known about that for a while. Earthbound and Earthbound Beginnings will be added to Nintendo Switch Online today. While Nintendo, while fans still have to wait for an announcement regarding Mother 3, Nintendo did reveal that both Earthbound and Earthbound Beginnings will be released on Switch later today. People really want Mother 3. Really, really want Mother 3 but I don't think we'll ever get it. Um, I don't know. Earthbound's not really, I don't really think about it, so I don't care. I know it's Ness from Street Fighter, or Street Fighter, uh, fucking Super Smash Bros, but whatever. Advanced Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp. This one I'm very curious about. It actually just played right before this, uh, this trailer. 
I, I would like to try that for a couple of hours and see how it goes. That'll be out on April 8th. Live Alive, Live Alive, will come to the West for first for the first time. It's got the HD 2D stuff. Cool. Seven protagonists. You can choose to follow their paths in any way. Uh, I don't know. The trailer was kind of interesting. I just don't know if that's a game for me. I, I don't know. Portal 1 and 2. Fine. This game's been out forever. MLB the 22. MLB the show 22. Gameplay looked really bad. Really, really, really bad. Really bad. Star Wars Force Unleashed. That's also out. April 20th. 420. Blaze your lightsabers for that one. Uh, MLB The Show is available on April 5th. And with a little bit of luck, I'll be on schedule for uh, the open season opener. Um, and luck, maybe, that the MLB owners will pull their heads out of their ass and, uh, you know figure out a fucking collective bargaining agreement so there can actually be a season this year. Here's, here's the one that I don't think uh, I was really excited for until they said that it was free to play and it's Disney speed storm, Disney and Pixar characters. Uh, they list Mickey mouse, captain Jack Sparrow, Sully cross platform play in a racing game. And it looks like it's going to be in, uh, new characters, circuits and carts will be introduced as part of a seasonal format. The game's coming out this summer. I liked the way it looked. Let me buy your video game. Please come out with a, a more. So this, this is going to be an interesting one because looking at it, how bare bones is it going to be? Right? Like, are we going to jump in and it's going to be like, there's four courses and seven racers and you can buy a season pass and you can unlock new stuff. If it's that bare bones, I think it's a huge disservice to like, I don't know. I think it's a huge disservice to a group of people like myself who would go out and Disney fans, people who like kart racers. It's a very broad audience. If Mario Kart can work and then Disney racing can work. Like obviously the games have to be good, but like give, put the effort in to make a product that you feel people will feel is worth $60 instead of, the free to play model. I'm sure the free to play model makes a lot more money and I've already said that I'm going to play it and I'm definitely going to check it out. So I'm kind of defeating my own argument here. However, I would like to state that if they came out and were like, we're, they're going to have, I don't know how many courses Mario Karts usually have, but if they have 20 courses and 15 characters, 15 to 20 characters, and we're going to be adding stuff with season passes that you don't have to like unlock, let me just buy that, please. I'm okay with buying a season pass of characters that I can actually play as. I don't know. The free to play really bummed me out with that one. No Man's Sky, who gives a shit? Klonoa, who gives a shit? Uh, I mean, those did, those did not do any, anything for me at all. No Man's Sky is a fascinating video game story from failure to game that people actually kind of like, but whatever. The Rhythm Festival, interesting Cuphead coming out the Ezio collection got the kingdom hearts cloud version uh sd gundam these were kind of some of the quick hits undying mood oh undying moon so this one getsuna fuma den i i'm probably pronouncing that wrong uh whatever this was the one that i actually rewound and thought was like a really interesting art style it's apparently a roguelike roguelike which is kind of cool. I don't know. I, this art style was really, really good. I, I, good, good word there, Sean. I liked the art style a lot. I, I thought it was really engrossing and engaging and I did not realize it was a roguelike. They, I mean, they just showed it as like a clip or whatever. Um, and then there was some other stuff in the, uh, montage Lego brawls. I don't know what that is. First time I've heard of that. Some Demon Slayer game. Two Points Campus. Zombie Army 4. Um, and I think that covers everything. It hit. It definitely hit the stuff that I wanted to hit. So that's uh, that's helpful. I would say that this was a good direct. Um, there was a, a, enough stuff that I was interested in. 
and we got a uh, nice hefty update on what we're seeing on screen right now. Splatoon 3 having a sum summer 2022 release date. Big thumbs up. Big fan of that. So, uh, yeah. What did you think of the Nintendo Direct? I really enjoy the Nintendo Directs. I think they have them down in a way that is that like makes me want to watch them where it's like they're going to be in and out in 40 minutes. They never overstay their welcome with the specific games that they're talking about. I think the longest game that they talked about was the uh, Nintendo Switch Sports. And if you're not into that, it still is like in a, in, in your head, you're like a ticking clock of like, okay, they're going to move on. They're going to spend maybe five minutes on this and we'll move on to the next thing. Most of them are pretty short trailers. They do a really good job with this stuff of not, not dragging it out on like how I'm talking right now. Um, I really enjoy these. Hopefully you enjoyed the, this reaction. If it went up on YouTube, if it didn't, I don't know. It got caught in a copyright hell, which means you're not even hearing this audio. So it doesn't matter. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Um, sorry, thought I had a burp. Uh, if you would like to see more, please let me know down in the comments below. I'd be happy to uh, do more of these live reactions. I appreciate you watching. Sure, uh, Be sure to scroll down, subscribe, and ring that bell for more. Tell me down in the comments below what you liked the most from this, and if there are any games you think I should check out that I'm maybe overlooking Chrono Cross, um, maybe even these front mission games. I don't know. Do you think they're cool? Let me know. Tell me that they're cool. There you go. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in another video some other day. Goodbye. Oh man, look at this. This looks cool. By the way, Buzz Lightyear not actually in here. It's Sully. I thought it was Buzz, but it is Sully. Buzz Lightyear has to be an addition though, because there is the Lightyear, the Lightyear movie coming out this summer. That's got to be one of the early additions to that. That game. Oh shit, that was a Monsters Inc. track. I was so busy looking at the looking at the cars and the characters, I didn't even realize that there were the doors on the side. Awesome. This looks cool. Why is it free to play? A pirates one? That's cool. And plus, because they have so many properties to pull from. I wonder if we will see. They specifically said Disney and Pixar. No Marvel, no Star Wars. Maybe that's a later date thing. Hmm. I'll definitely be checking it out, so stick around for that. Goodbye.